by the looks of things, the one who wrote the Gospels wanted us to really get the message. This is the third, third Sunday in a row that Jesus reveals himself as the living bread that came down from heaven and that the bread he gives is his flesh for the life of the world. It makes us kind of wonder how often we need to hear it before we believe it. In the first reading, Lady Wisdom prepares the banquet table filled with wonderful foods and the finest wine. The messengers call out, you are invited. Whoever is simple, come on in. And Wisdom herself says to the one who lacks understanding, come eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live. I wondered what the person who wrote that meant by forsake foolishness. I began to think about a food pyramid. This pyramid provides us with all the foods and nutritional items that we need to maintain physical health. The usual grains, cereals, vegetables, fruits, dairy meats, and other protein items. Then I switched over to a spiritual pyramid and asked myself, what would this pyramid look like? What are the foods wisdom is inviting us to share? Well, if wisdom is inviting us, then that could mean we ought to begin with prayer. Perhaps read the Bible, also known as the book of instruction before leaving earth. Maybe meditate on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. You know, knowledge, understanding, piety, good counsel, wisdom, courage, and awesomeness or fear of the Lord. Next we have the Beatitudes. Then we have the commandments to love God with our whole mind, our heart and soul and to love one another. Then finally we have the seven sacraments of which the Eucharist is the one we are in the midst of celebrating right now. Be aware that there is no junk food in the spiritual pyramid. And yet, some of us still have a hard time to accept that whoever receives the Eucharist, which is the real body of Christ, has eternal life within them. We can't help it. Jesus is God, and he is eternal, right? Therefore, we need to believe, as the psalm tells us, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Then act accordingly. Eternity isn't in the future. It is right now. Life is good. Oh, sure, some things are out of our control, so we need to focus on what really matters. Our relationship with God and with one another. I guess what brought me on to this was the fact that we are going to have a parish mission in a couple of weeks. And the theme of it, the theme of it is beginning again. This could be something to add to our own spiritual pyramid, mainly because it is never too late to begin again. Let us continue to grow in his love, peace, and joy.